Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. This is Marcus. Wait, no, that's not Marcus. This is Marcus. And these are the tadpoles. And that's a dumb joke. And I'm sorry I started the whole episode with it. <laughs> Welcome back to... Uh, I don't know where we are. I mean, it's... I thought this was the Temple of Ball. And I guess that might be true. Um, but I don't know. The, there's ballists everywhere. Uh, but we're in the sewers. That's That's something I could say very confidently. I don't remember what the door said. Uh, this is episode 163. Hope you're having a great day. We defeated uh, the Far Slayer and stopped the Power Word Kill ritual. And then there's a door right here we're going to go through as soon as we loot this chest. Uh, and read that scroll, apparently. I got nervous that was a trap and I didn't see it until the last second. And I was like, uh-oh, we're in trouble. Um, I was thinking between episodes about last uh, episode I was talking about how we're going to need more potions of healing and I just keep thinking we need to make some potions of I, I, I just keep forgetting we can make potions of healing let's go ahead and do that I need salt and I need ashes of uh, uh, balsam Let's do that. Ashes of balsam. That's the whole amount of balsam that I have. Shit. Okay, I can make one potion. Can I make any normal potions of healing? Uh, suspensions. Uh, I can do it with laculi. Uh, we can just hit extract all. Extract. I unlocked a, a greater elixir of arcane cultivation. Wait a second. This is the one that, uh, I think that's the one that, um, does it's greater elixir. I think that's like a higher spell slot. Um, but I don't remember which one, uh, but let's do a rogue's morsel. Make one of these. Uh, we can actually make two more. Cool. Well, now we have a couple heals if we get into a bad fight soon. Uh, and we really need them. That's nice. <laughs> I have one potion of greater healing, three potions of healing, and one potion of superior healing. Uh, my inventory is otherwise a little off, but not bad. Okay. Uh, let's see what this scroll said. Strangle Death Manifesto. Strangle Death. This sweat-blotted letter looks unfinished, perhaps even unsent. To my fellow blood brethren, if you're reading this missive, know that you number among my most trusted confidants. Also know that if you betray me, sorry, betray my trust, uh, my hands will grip your throat with the steadfast embrace of long-parted lovers. So yes, of late, my friends, I have felt a calling when my fingers meet each other around a windpipe, as if there is a voice whispering sweet nonsense into my ears as I tear the breath from my quarry's lungs. I think I am chosen by our lord of murder. Perhaps even related, yes, my brethren, I will stake my claim on a legacy of murder, a throne of blood. I'll challenge Lady Orin to her birthright, and if my grip stops her gasps before she flays my skin from bone, I will become Strangler Luke, son of Baal. Note to self, come up with catchier title. I'm so happy that uh, Larian Studios did not go through with the idea to make Strangler Luke the uh, real bad guy of this series. Okay, I'm getting a little nervous. But this takes me to Orin. Because I have not yet defeated Gortash. Oh, buddy, now I'm getting nervous. Okay. 
For now, we'll just continue. Lord of murder shall perish. Can I light the brazier? Uh, for now, we'll just continue on. And if I feel the need to back out, I'll back out. I hope I don't regret that choice. But in his doom, he shall spawn a score of mortal progeny. The Lord of Murder shall perish, but he will birth mortal progeny. Grilled pork leg, grilled pork belly. Um, okay. This place is weird and concerning. The decor choice is mostly what gets me, you know? Looks like if we go this way, we get more of these, like, uh, statues. But if we go this way, we might get something else. Skeleton up there. Uh, Grimlark verse 5. I is for Illicera, ball spawn fighter mage. J is for Jurgal, exhausted by age. Um, uh, I really don't want it. Oh my god, look at that red glow. That is so cool. I really don't want to encounter Orin right now. But I don't know. That I am. Everything else says go towards... No, I think we might be fucked up here. Okay, so this part, if I click on these individual ones, they say kill Gortash, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Go to the, the, the place. This one says find and gained access to the Temple of Ball. I don't know for a fact that I'm in the Temple of Ball, but it sure looks like it, right? And it says uh, we found a ball list, target list. New recruits are being asked to stage murders. Uh, successful recruits gain access to the Temple of Ball where Orin awaits. We walked, this is, in hindsight, this is plain as day. We walked in the door and said, if you have access, then come on in. And we lied and said, we have access. And they were like, no, you don't. So um, this is uh, maybe a bit weep lashy, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put us on pause here. And I'm going to go the dead body. Uh, I'm going to go. Looking ahead. Back up top, um, and go to the Candle Hollow Temple. So, or the Candle Hollow uh, tombstones. S sorry for it being so, uh, you know, whiplashy. Um, but here at the end of the game, especially in a blind playthrough, I'm just trying to do everything in the order that makes the most sense to me. And I'm happy I saw that at all because I might not have seen it originally. Uh, let's actually go Basilisk Gate. Don't take a hard switch of gears. A hard, hard turn the other direction. I'm going to take a short rest. Welcome, so that Karlak has full HP. And I'm going to walk uh, this way. I think it's right here and then up. Right up here. I really want to try this, uh... Sorry, I was waiting to see if there was a... What is this? I was waiting to see if there was a... A bunch of commotion from the... Steel Watch being dead. Oh, that's just the thing around Shadow <laughs> Okay. Keep going this way. I think it's like right here. Unless I'm misreading. Go to Candle Hallow's tombstone. What are you standing in front of again? I don't remember. Repairs payment. Um, 
preparing a vase. Okay. So that's the pot place. Right here? Ah, Candle Hallows tombstones. Okay. All right. Candle Hallows tombstones. Remembering the deceased with sympathy and skill. Blocked. Uh, speak your loss. A self-help book describe explaining that true happiness begins with a tidy house. Well polished floorboards. Um. Let's see. Who should we be careful about here? There's some flaming fist right there. I'm gonna have to lockpick this, I think. Or. Maybe there's another way in. I'm trying to remember. Let's go talk to this person real quick. This person isn't making tombstones. They're making caskets, right? I remember this person. The city is chock-a-block with bodies, chock -a -block. thanks to these murders. I can barely keep up with all the orders. I'm not leaving without a coffin? Then you'll be a long time standing. Great. Now... You want to bump someone else to the back of the queue? Fine, but it'll cost you. Do I need a coffin? This is for a kid? Is that true? This is the funny part about games like this. I don't remember. I think there might be a kid in the... Uh, in the uh, uh, graveyard who doesn't can't afford a coffin for their kid, but... um. Let's use persuasion here. Let's appeal to this person's better graces. This is for a kid. How would you feel if you lost a child? I have lost a kid. Aww. And I gave him the best send-off I could. Bloody hells. Fine. Tell them they could pick it up at sunset. Now, get out of my sight. Okay, that's one more thing to do. One more thing to do real quick. We're just going to run over here and see if we can find that kid. I think it was like right here, right? Uh, I might be wrong though. A child who doesn't have... Do you? I need a quick word. Billiam? They got the bad man, Mum, so we're safe now. You don't have to worry about me. I'll be okay. Um, Bruna? They nope, you're not a honey. They got the bastard that did this to you. You're not a kid. Um, it was like right here, right? <gasps> Grotesque distension, bloated beyond hope, will explode at the slightest touch. The fuck? Things have changed since I was last here. I want you home, Garrett. This person I remember. Mum won't stop crying. Dad is always at the pub. Well, uh, I didn't find who I was looking for, but I did find a bunch of disturbing scenes. Um, I do, but they struggle as we do. You'll not find a casket for your daughter there. This is ridiculous. Wait, am I dumb? Was I looking for a Just casket for a kid go. for her parent? I was asking. I was looking for. I understand. A parent for their kid. I will do what I can. I won't bury Lily without a coffin. I refuse. That's <laughs> No one's suggesting that. My bad, my brain's broken. Just gotta figure this out. Your daughter's coffin will be ready soon. I took care of it. You did. You hear that, honey? Lily was our world. Knowing that she'll be able to be put to rest properly makes things easier. Thank you.
Okay. Now let's go to the tombstone place. <laughs> oh, sorry. I uh, got a little... I had, I, had, I had the right heart and the wrong brain for that solution. <laughs> it's like, wait, who am I looking for? We're blind, not deaf. Um, kind of moment. Uh, let's see here. What is Pythonicus talking about? You don't want none of this. Trust me. You speak very slow. I like it. Okay, I don't see anyone here right now. Ah, somebody walked in. Nope, it's fine. Just get me in here. Nobody needs to know anything. Get me in. Okay, where are we? Candle Hallows Tombstones. Stop, stop, uh, stop hiding. Okay, we got some hardwood caskets. Tombstones. That one just has, this tombstone has food inside of it? This casket, sorry, casket. It's a little weird, right? It has an animal carcass inside of it. Also a little weird. Bookcase is special. What the hell, catch a break. Seekers, perception failed. No way we all failed. You seek the tribunal, let death be your guide for what is behind death, but murder. What is behind death, but murder? Behind the bookcase? I don't know what the behind death means. Hmm. Keeping up appearances. Clerk Dravage, remember you are in the business of making Cat in the Hollow's tombstones look like a genuine retail establishment. Keep all the prices about half again too high so you don't sell very much inventory. Think of the shop as a stage rather than an actual concern. An ink pots. Behind death is in behind uh, some caskets. Do I need to have Tarlac throw some things? Butterfly on the skull. Aha. There it is. Figured it out. Behind the painting of decay. Butterfly on the skull. Uh, okay. Not as bad as it could have. The locked door has red text on it reading, All are waited, all are embraced. None shall escape. Uh, let's try and record this stuff, or, uh, 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 recall the historical source of that text. Text is vaguely familiar. I'm so good at history. Um. Let's go, let's go. That phrase is ballast. This place has some connection to Orin and her well, cult of killers. You should learn more about them. I mean, that makes obvious sense to me. Uh, Sycarius. Ballist Crypt. All right. Smallest crypt, okay. So, if we impress the murder tribunal, I don't exactly know what our goal is here. Uh, it gets us access to the place that we already have, but mostly I just wanna know what a murder tribunal is like. We spoke the correct pass phase, we can approach the, uh, the tribunal. We can also, I guess, get some answers about this, uh, these murders that have been happening around town and why? Um, we've also heard the history of the 
the we've been reading some history, which I'm not gonna remember correctly, about uh, the last time a spree of murders happened and like ball spawn or like a, a, a the cult um, sort of uh, popped off. Yeah, that's sort of the memory of uh, that's These about as far as my memory goes right now. Um, some parchment. Better not be cursed. Shield. Flaming fists this way. Flaming fists this way? What does this have to do with the fists? You know, there's a uh, chest over here. And a rotten barrel and grease. Okay, okay, okay. Don't go prone, please. <gasps> That's not good. No, oh, God, everybody get out, get out, get out. No, 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 talk, don't talk. Shit, leave, go, run. Fire, fire, fire. You're, you're a sight for sore eyes too, Carla. Like it's a shadow heart. It's just, I fucked that up. Okay. That's all right. What's hiding here? There was a trap. It dropped some barrels on us. Should have known. Should have known. A rusty long sword. Okay. Anything in these barrels that really matters? Some rusty daggers and some normal daggers, it looked like. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Tribunal antechamber. I feel like a little bit, like maybe this is just gonna be like a, you know, is this like a job interview? What should I be prepared for here? Should I bring questions of my own? Should I be wearing a suit and tie? Present me well from gifts thine own. Or I shall rend thy flesh from bone. Okay, that's a riddle. Present me well from gifts thine own, or I shall rend thy flesh and bone. I killed to be here and took the victim's hands as proof. Let's do that. A grasping hand, an offering vile. Enter now the dread lord's trial. That which guards, that which lurks, that which watches. Sure, but who watches that which watches? You know what I'm saying? Who guards that which guards? I also love that it isn't he who or they who guard. It's that which. What's in the urn? I'm the worst kind of person. I just come in. I click on urns and shit. I'm like, what's up? What's in the urn? Thou hast shown proof of worthy kill. Present thyself before Baal's will. Okay. Its breath is dank and coarse, but it has no words. This creature is mute. Its breath is dank and coarse, but it has no words. This creature is mute. Three chairs. Are we on the voice? There's also one one key judge in the back. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This place makes me nervous. Let's just walk right on into it. Who's here? You gaze upon murder's progeny, child. His most ill-trusted zealots. This is crazy. His faithful departed. Prodigal servants. Each returns to do his bidding eternally. This man is known to all Baldurians, and his presence sparks dread is this the person in the who did the stomach. Before you is Saravok Anchev, yes. a barlist who almost brought Baldur's Gate to ruin a century ago. Okay. Devella was right. Not just an imitator. Oh, but yeah. Saravok himself. I forgot about that. This is the court of the Dread 
Lord's Tribunal. That voice. I am its custodian. Here come those who seek to transcend. Oh. Aspirants of his most profane order. The would-be unholy assassins of Baal. Okay, dialogue so far. Uh, we've got Saravak and Chev. We have uh, a, a reference to Murder's Progeny, which we just encountered inside of what I think is the actual Temple of Baal. Um, I think, the Progeny. Uh, they are the ill-trusted zealots. His faithful departed. Prodigal servants, those who left, or who those who were missing, each returned to do his bidding eternally. This is the court of the Dreadlord's Tribunal. I'm its custodian. Come, here come those who seek to transcend. Aspirants, people who aspire to be unholy assassins of Baal. Uh, how are you still alive? A long while ago, my wretched sibling brought me back. The fairest of Baal's spawn sold thou me to this husk. Worship death though I do, I refused it. I roamed the coast, gathering those who still held Baal in their black hearts. The cult survived, festering beneath the city, with me as the gate's everlasting poison. But no more, for poison is too slow a death. Now is the time for slaughter. Do I need to kill you? With these killings, the glory of the Balis has risen beyond what we dreamed possible during those dark days. But the worship of my lord is led by another now. My granddaughter, Arin. Oh. The youngest unholy assassin ever to follow in Baal's bloody trail and his chosen. What does Orin have to do with the murders in the city? Uh, I'll ask it. She is the architect of Baal's design. Baal has never had a more gifted prodigy. Orin's gifts surpassed even her mother's. Her mother knew this and she could not bear it. When Arryn was but seven years old, she tried to smother the child as an offering to our Lord. I heard the screams. I ran to help, but feared for the child's life. <laughs> oh, but Jesus the cries Christ. were not Arryn's. It was her mother's blood that soaked the sheets. Arryn had cut off the very hand that tried to end her and made a plaything of it. And as she toyed with her dead mother's hand, a deep quiver rose up through her throat. The Lord of Murder speaking through the child. Lay not a finger on this child, he said, nor let any other for this child will serve me with unholy ardor. I could listen to this voice all day. Protect her in my name. Oh, it's uh it's crazy. It suggests Orin was was at seven capable of so much. Um Um, did you know your daughter was planning to kill Orin? That's a great question. I knew of my daughter's ambitions, but not the lengths to which she'd go. She hungered for Baal's favor more than anyone I'd ever known. But her daughter, Orin, hungered even more. My lord made his choice. I abided by his words. But Arryn is not the subject of our judgment here today. You 
wish to become an unholy assassin above. Sure, yeah, absolutely. So, approach and be judged. So here's my resume, my cover letter, uh, as I went into, uh, is about, I feel like I'm really well suited for the job. I'm a people person, what can I say? Um, what does the judgment involve exactly? There is no better mirror in which to see the true nature of a killer than his victim. You took their hands from them. Now, I will clutch one of their souls from the abyss that they may show Baal who you are. That's a problem, because I didn't actually kill him. If you're going to bring their actual... Uh, their actual... soul here, they're going to know that I didn't do it. Here's the other thing, though. I already have access to the temple, so I can really do whatever the fuck I want here, as long as it doesn't get... Aw, oh, shit. As long as it doesn't get Lazelle killed. Um. So what do we hope to gain from this situation, and what can we... I mean, I was thinking maybe we kill him because that, first off, he should be dead. And second off, maybe that's good for the city. Um. Would Orin care? Would Orin kill Lazelle? Um. I already have access to the Temple of Ball, which is basically the thing that this whole quest promises. Let's play along for now, and if if the judgment goes badly and we need to kill people, we kill people. I'm ready to be judged. Let us begin. Spirit of the Slaughtered, return to us. This voice is crazy. I love Show it. Show us the truth of this murderer's intent. And let us judge him for his bloody service. His will be done. On earth as it isn't. Wait. Um. So, who could it be? Um. Are you the one who got slaughtered at the wine party? Can it be? Belinda Tell me. Self. Reduced to a spectre. Tell me. You took this spirit's life. No. Nope. And thus its voice. So, speak for it. How was this pitiable creature slain? Um. Oh, buddy. Uh. I don't honestly remember if this is a like test. Uh, I feel like Stelmane died slowly, um, but I don't remember that that's the actual truth. Um, let's say the thing about the hand because that, uh, I don't know. Let's say first I ended its sorry existence, then I cut the hand from its corpse. We'll have advantage, we'll have a plus 16. How badly could we really do here? 35, is that good enough? Reverence, zeal. Long may he reign. Maybe this is the best way to tear this whole thing down is from the inside as the unholy. Your offering pleases Lord Baal. Your words delight him. You slaughter well, Aspirant. You are deemed worthy. Enter the Dread Lord's abattoir and submit to his will. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We just lost Raphael. And now you're going to introduce a sexy voice like this. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, I'm supposed to follow you. Okay, I can do that. First, hear me out. What's over here? <laughs> you know I got to loot around a little bit. Mason's journal. Maybe we'll find out some information. Never in all my years of the craft have I felt I was carving my own tomb. This armored husk I once thought a man. He's trapped me here during the renovations. While he says I'm free to leave after the work is done, he'll modder. This god awful smell. I'm no fool.
what's in here. And what's our quest say? Kill the Holly fan. <gasps> I should never look at the quest page. I swear to God. What? Anybody in here? No. No. Fist Orville. You're dead. Um, okay. Keychain. Let's grab the keys first off. Prison key. Once inside. Fist Orville, what's your deal here? Dear Quill. Dear Quill, do you remember me? We spent a sweet evening chatting to one another after you gave a heart-stopping performance at the Nashco Inn when I was on a patrol tour. Heard you were headed to Baldur's Gate to get your songbook published, and I pre-ordered my copy. If you'd forgive a humble fist's boldness, I send you in writing what I wasn't bold enough to say on that night. Each one of your scales is a gem. Your eyes shine brighter than your throat fire. Images of you have beset me since we met. You must have many suitors as a scholar of love ballads. Perhaps when you get to the gate, you'll meet me one starry night in The Blushing Mermaid? The letter is unfinished. They intended to uh, say more before sending it. Okay. I like these urns they have around the place. Oh. Little lore? Don't mind if I do. Little heavy chest. Gold. Arrow of ice. Legacy ledger. During our logged the blood requisitions, the corpse wealth of our sacrifices taken from their dead hands. After chronicling in the assassin's claim of their own tithe, the remainder should be brought before the temple's leaders, no longer the butler as in past time, times. What follows is a detailed financial log of loot from dead targets. An indulgent purple prose describing their cause of death. Okay. So assassins are taking their own uh, fee, but then giving more to the temple. It just says a page from Saravok's book or a page torn from what appears to be a memoir by Saravok. The blood of Baal must never be wasted, only multiplied. I knew it from the moment of her birth and every day thereafter. I watched the babe become a woman. Helena, my shape-shifting beauty, my daughter, and Baal's waiting womb. In her, I planted my lord's seed, and thus did we beget the blood lamb Orin child of my child and also your child at the same time and ball sacrifice in waiting jesus fucking christ i did not know that it would be orin that ball favored not helena but it matters not orin would help to bring forth a new birth in ball's name a world baptized in blood jesus fucking christ Yikes. Uh, oil of Bane, Necrotic Resistance. Let's go to Shadow Hearts. All right, we got a prison. We got a little, we got a, I'm happy we went that way. That's wild. It sounds like Orin is the daughter of her grandpa and her mom, which is fucked up. Or anything like over in these corners or anything? Um, actually, no, it doesn't look like I could step down there, right? No. Okay, let's go this way. Anything back here? No. There's a keyhole. Valeria. I wondered when you said Hollyfant. Okay. Vicarious Profanus. You stand now on the cusp of the Dreadlord's favor. 
One killing secures your rebirth as an unholy assassin of Baal. Oh, the celestial. The slaughter of a celestial being. Make violence of its goodness. Spill its blood and bathe in Baal's eternal rapture. Boy, I know you. Do not listen to this ancient <laughs> fuck. Free me at once. I have to say, I've loved uh, uh, Saravok's uh, voice acting. Spill its blood. I don't know how that line went, but it was a little weird. Um, blood will be spilt, Saravok. I will slaughter you. It's time. I'm not killing the terrible Holly Font, who is Holly Fant, who's drunk and a bad investigator. Uh, blood will be spilt. I slaughter you. All right, let's roll. Carlac used flaming shroud. What are you trying to do there? Murderous strike? After performing four attacks, Saravok will have embodied ball enough to... Music. To use Deathbringer Assault, which does 20... D10 of damage. Unleash the Dreadlord's Fury upon a target. We could viciously mock in that situation if we needed to. Let's take a look at this battlefield. We got Executioner just waiting on us, which I'm stoked about. Uh, Saravak, Justice, level 16, AC 20. Everything's... Oh, God. Legendary Resistances. Um... Fuck. Exceptional plate. Extra attack. First blood. If we have max hit points. Okay. Then there's a million of these tribunal ghosts and the echoes. The echoes. Uh, Not a lot crazy going on there. They can meta magic. Oh no. For distant spells. Um, What is Saravax? AC is high. 20. Uh... No resistances, which is nice. Ball spawn essence. Uh, when Alessara's ghost dies, Saravok will be permanently hastened and will be unaffected by paralysis, restraints, or any attempts to restrain, restrain his movement speed. Okay. Um, what about the other ones? Hastened? He'll heal. And he will... Have his AC increased by six. So we have to keep you guys alive, no matter what. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, first things first. Let us rage. Okay. Um, can I break these chains? Holly, Holly Fan, uh, Valeria, how much do you... Uh, nope. How much do you... I don't know how to access. There we go. AC of 18, resistance to some stuff, currently shackled. We could release you. Oh, buddy. Okay. Um. So to me, this seems like we have to figure you out. We have to stop you from attacking. And we have to... Uh, you have indomitable, meaning you can reroll saving throws if you fail. And you get to add shit and you get to legendary resistance uh three total times so i think we either make you fail a bunch of saving throws right away or um wisdom is your bad one or uh we just try and rush killing you so let's do wisdom saving throws um vicious mockery is an immediate wisdom save which i think is great um but it's not particularly high level dominate person is a wisdom save I think we want to try wisdom saves uh, and try and make them fail. Uh, as, And then we can actually hit them with something. You get, get, get. 
Okay, they rolled a 16. I'm gonna cut in words. You failed. How many do you have left? Okay, you still have it. You've been viciously mocked, though. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and Bardic Karlak. Uh, and that's going to be Marcus's turn. What's this? Okay. Uh, I think you're going to want to probably take that off to make sure you hit. 91% chance to hit. We're going to have to hit you a lot of times, so I really want to hit. Executioner would be fantastic. <laughs> critical hit. Uh, paralyzing critical. And then hit... Uh, turn the passive back on, because now we will hit no matter what. <laughs> couldn't have couldn't have, rid, ri, uh, uh, couldn't have written it up better. Use the Executioner to paralyze, then you can turn the passive back on. We've already done 80 damage. Good stuff. Uh, we're gonna try speed running damage here. Gale is gonna go backwards. Uh, I don't know where I just clicked on accident. And then, probably, paralyzed you also fail No, you can't take reactions. Um, critical hits if you're within three meters, which I should have known. Um, so what do we want to do here? What's the smartest use of Gale's turn? Probably just damage. And to do that, we probably would want to do... Chain Lightning is, is scary because it might affect these other people. I think we want to do Witch Bolt. If you use a higher level, it only increases the initial damage. Which I will do. I'll just do a second level. We have advantage here. Cool. I'm now concentrating on that. Hopefully we can keep it up. Uh, cast heal on Saravok for 70? This is the echo. Okay. Uh, we'll counterspell that. I was like, if every Tribunal Ghost can heal for 70, we're fucked. Um, Sanctuary. I'll counterspell. I can, shouldn't be able to, right? I've used one reaction, right? Technically, I shouldn't be able to. Yeah, I don't think it worked. I think they got Sanctuary, right? Yeah, they got Sanctuary. Oh, but that might be because it's a higher level spell. I don't know. Uh, can't be threatened, which sucks because now I can't. They're paralyzed, but I can't threaten. That sucks. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But a sanctuary just can't be threatened directly or cannot be targeted by enemy attacks or spells. AOE can still hurt them. Um, so we could do a little bit of like fire strike. Flame strike, like here. I almost think that's worth it. Uh, we can also chuck a Spirit Guardians up with some uh, Radiant, because I believe these the rest of these fuckers might be resistant to Necrotic. Actually, we'll do Necrotic because we don't want to hurt those people. I'm going to choose Necrotic Spirit Guardians. And hope I can keep concentration on it. Can still take damage, and now I am up here and in your face. And I'm going to hide behind Karlak. Uh, and call that good. 
Now a bunch of people go. Betrayer! Haste on Saravok, but he's, you know. Uh. Now that's not good. Uh. Slow. Oh, it's on Marcus? Uh, I'll reroll. No, you cast slow on how many people? Uh, it only hit Marcus. Okay, good. It was on Karlak and uh, Shadowheart as well. Betrayer. Betrayer. This is a cool fight. So many different uh, small little guys. Okay, I can't attack you, which really sucks. I can kill these guys. Um, they're going to die very soon anyways. So... I guess I should do it. I mean... I'll just keep Shadowheart and Gale alive, which is good stuff, too. Hey, you're dead. Uh, hit you with a bonus action. Cool. You're dead. And then hit you with a normal attack. Okay, you're dead. Um, and then I'm going to back up because I want to be able to Sentinel if, for some re weird reason, you come back uh, and have a turn. No choice but to keep going. Marcus, uh, how's your... <laughs> How are you doing? The three uh, echoes are all, all over here. All of you guys have gone over here. This is actually like, the fight has gone pretty hilariously. Um, I might put out some uh, four ghouls just because I feel like this would be a good fight to do it. We can also do one of these and hit four or four, maybe five here, but I don't want to hit the uh, uh, Valeria. No, that's going to do four. Uh, we'll do this. I think that might have actually hit 12 people. Who did that? Or five people. <laughs> 12. Uh, no, only four. Okay. Uh, we'll keep that up for now. Uh, it may go down eventually, but that's fine. I'm slowed, meaning I have no bonus action, right? Either action or bonus action. It sucks. That's fine. Uh, we'll do Witch Bolt. Does this work? I'm not targeting you with a spell. I'm just retargeting you. It did one damage. I'm not sure why. Uh, it did one damage because of the fucking... It's a D12. Damn. That sucks. I go like right here. Wording bond is interesting. It lasts until a long rest, which I really want to avoid. I'm gonna I'm gonna counterspell. Marcus's middle name is Connor Counterspell. Now, what other bullshit are you gonna pull off here? Okay. Uh, there's some damage. Uh, still sanctuaried, so I can't do anything there. But I have concentration. I can cast fireball on some of these other fuckers. Um, we can also use magic missile from Gale to try and break concentration without doing a lot of damage. Damage. Um, because I believe no, only one of them is concentrating, and it's on haste. Um. Oh, we could do Invoke Duplicity, but that is going to be Concentration, and I don't want to do that. Oh, are you undead? You're humanoid. I don't know. I mean, you're pretty... I mean, I think you were dead at one point, so I don't know about that shit. Uh, but whatever. Do I have anything that does... Uh, AOE right now. Other than Flame Strike, which would probably kill a bunch of these guys. I feel like Flame Strike right there would. Oh, that'd kill Valeria, though. Uh, would kill four, right? 
10 to 60. They all have much less than that. Fear's concentration. Flame strike is not. That's the thing. It needs to be not. We could do Guardian of Faith because that's not. We could put it here. Let's do it. Uh, that will be my turn because I don't really need to heal anybody. Trying to attack uh, Marcus. When they attack, they get attacked by the Guardian of Faith. These three uh, echoes are going to be the problem. I can tell. Lesser Restoration will cure them of paralysis. I'm not going to counterspell that. I want you to attack so that I can... Uh, you can lose Sanctuary. And I want... Slow on four targets. It's level three. I will counter that one. I want Karlak to be able to hit you by her next turn. Okay. Mm You're gone. You're gone. And so is the Guardian of Faith. Okay. Uh, Karlak can still not attack, which sucks. Uh, on, Marcus can break idol. down Cloud of Daggers. There are so few people left. It's two Tribunal Ghosts, and then honestly, we might have to kill these Echoes, because they're a pain in the ass more than they, more than the effects against him might be. Um, what fools these Gale can be. do this. Harlack <laughs> cannot do much of anything. Nothing will stand in Marcus, can you lockpick these chains? A couple of turns should do it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Uh Okay, Valeria. Join initiative and help us out here. Thank you. Uh, that's my action. Should I try and break your concentration? I am going to. Break your concentration. On haste. There it is. Perfect. Good. That was an ideal turn. Uh, I still can't do anything to you, so I guess Karlak will just go uh, fuck these guys up and then come right back. In case we get a chance to, uh, I've got it. Sentinel can't attack you because of Sanctuary. Gale already did uh, action, so we'll pause and turn there. And then this should be pretty quick. Warding Bond, I don't love, but I'm more nervous about the next attack, the next thing you'll cast. Oh, I should have done that because that's not concentration, so I can't fuck. Have you still not attacked, Saravok? You're down to 130 HP. I guess we could try killing one of these suckers. I mean, it's just not good. Um, do I try and get an opportunity attack? Yeah, you don't have an opportunity attack yet. I thought you would. Um. Firebolt is going to be disadvantaged, but I'm going to try it. Still hit. My whole turn. Um, haste, we should try and counterspell. Fuck. It's a higher level than that, I think. It's level three, and I tried counterspelling. Is it because I'd already counterspelled once this turn? I don't remember. Will you attack me, you little shit? Please. I'm about to just kill these turds and see what happens. Uh, concentrating on haste. Concentrating on slow on Valeria. That's not as bad. Let's 
see if we can break concentration. We did. Perfect. Saravak, will you please attack me? Please. I need you to attack. Survival is all that matters. I don't want to attack these fuckers. I will just uh, cloud of daggers you if I need to. Three damage, not great. Um, I'm slowed. We will witch bolt. Two whole damage. However, all of this is being traded with this person too, right? That two damage was. Warding Bond must only work on certain types of damage. No? I just watched him take six damage and then you took none, which I find to be weird, but whatever. There's Sanctuary has been blocked uh, because of uh, something. I don't remember what. <laughs> That's good. Uh, you can now hit him. Try and hit him, maybe? I don't know. Try and hit him. 40% chance to hit. I'm sure this will go well. Critical miss. Don't you try casting any spells. God damn it. Slimy Doom. What is the spell Slimy Doom? Listen up. I like it. You get the tusks. Mess with the mastodon, you get the tusks. Sentinel! Get fucked, kid. You did take some damage there. Okay, good. Bulwark rebuke. Doomed. Detected. And caught. Uh, murderous strikes is only two. I think we're going to pull it off. Uh, Sometimes the only way out is Break through. this. Because they moved out. Uh, Carlac. is my happy place. Get over here. We're reckless. We're gonna turn off of our our passive. Their AC has been pumped up by warding bond, but we can still do high hits here. Eight damage. Thanks for the resistance. This warding bond is so fucking bad, and maybe we should actually just try and kill the person who has it. Marcus, if you want to try killing this person, go for it. Can't get there, unfortunately. Um, mm, that'd be nice. Just enough to break concentration. On, ha on haste and slow. Did it do 30 damage? That's too much. What level spell did I just cast? What level spell did I just cast? It says level two, but I upcast it. What What did I... Uh, I don't even want to know. I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill him. Need to find a way forward. No longer slowed. Gone with the, weave. Gone with the wind. Three hole damage. Gale's turn is really successful every time. Gale is super efficient right now. Three damage, three damage. <laughs> Sanctuary. Should I counterspell? I don't know. I'm sure I can long rest after this. Honestly, yes. Then we got to kill this one. I know, I know they probably have a, 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 I don't remember which one theirs is. His attacks will heal him two to 24 points. Honestly, that's not worth it. Kill you. The warding bond is really a problem right now. The resistance and extra AC is all an issue. Um, so I'm kind of thinking I step away real quick. Cause Sentinel to happen. And then get myself 
uh, the ability to uh, Guiding Bolt with like a second level. Third level without disadvantage because I'm threatened. Down to 25 HP and somebody will have advantage. We'll come right back so that you still have Spirit Guardians against you. Uh, and in turn. You two are try probably going to try some fucking spell bullshit. You will. That's fine. Paste whatever you want. I could counterspell, or I could just do it with a fourth level or fifth level or sixth level spell, or I could just do some damage to you and break your concentration here in just a second. <laughs> Contagion Flesh Rot. Oh, that sounds terrible. Vulnerable to all damage. Um, you missed. Valeria, what do you got? You're dashing. Four misses? Sarah Vok, what's your deal? Okay, uh, I would like to try and kill this person before I attack with Harlack. Bonus action attack. Perfect. That'll do it. So you can now heal. However, you no longer have warding bond, meaning Carlax is about to do some major damage. 34. One more. Okay, down to 18 HP. I got this bonus attack. Four HP. It's Gale's turn, right? Come on, Gale. Never before has Witch Bolt been so powerful. You can do it. Activate Witch Bolt. Six damage. Let's go! Saravok dies. Don't get too close. Let's loot his body. Amulet of Ball. First blood on a hit, you inflict bleeding. Okay. Uh, we'll take that to Marcus. A abattoir key. We'll send that to Marcus. Journal updated Kit Norin's Nether Orin's Netherstone. And a map to the Ball Temple, uh, which we'll read. Use a round street hatch to enter the city sewers. Proceed northwest to find your way to the Undercity Ruins. Blood the skull to pass the door. I know what that means. Follow the trail of murder to the Ball Temple door and praise Ball. Send that to Marcus. A sort of chaos on a hit regain one to six uh, hit points plus two and Saravok's horned helmet Deathbringer sight you gain dark vision up to a range of three meters or 15 meters if you already have it uh, number to roll a critical hits lowered by one this effect can stack can't be frightened cannot be afflicted with other emotion altering conditions does that include rage I'm kidding uh, we're gonna send that to camp because I think it's cool the dope item. And it'll help me remember uh, remember you, Saravok. Uh, okay. Even catch my breath. Mm, that's that. Now we need to kill you, turds. Retri retributive justice? New terrible powers to avenge Saravok's death? I should have killed you before. Fuck. Okay, your turn is done, but let's get closer to impose disadvantage on spells. Uh, and let's see if we can kill... Um, when I go. You with a third level guiding. Ooh, close but no cigar. Guiding bolt on Shadowheart. Cutting words. Don't kill Valeria, please. That's all I ask. In your next turn, don't kill Valeria. So I think I can handle you as soon as it's my turn, but. Valeria really talked so much shit. Mess with the Mastodon, get, get the tusks, and then has not done anything other than dash this fight. That's a critical. Uh, we'll turn that back on. Uh, we'll dash, and we're not going to quite get there, but... Despite 
everything. All right, Marcus. Man, this game is so much fun. Oh, two health left. Let me recite their demise. Uh, hey, Gail. It's everyone's favorite spell. Beautiful. Took you bloody long enough. You've Ooh. no idea how wrinkles like mine get caught in chains like that. I suppose some thanks are in order. You did a good job putting a stop to those barlist burks. How did they Though capture you? I do you? wish you'd figured this all out before I uh, put the blame for Father Logan's murder on that poor refugee. Yeah. Well. At least it's over now. I wish you wouldn't have done that, honestly. Um, how did you end up here? After our chat at Charesse's caress, I thought it best to polish off the bottle I'd started. Mm -hmm. I started coming over all woozy. My joints stiffened up quicker than a brothel browser's loins. Paralyzed. My vision went black. When I woke up, I was in chains. Overall, a terrible ordeal. One deserving of a drink. I bid you good day, but it's been royally shite all round. Brothel browser's loins. Uh, it's about to get worse. We need to put a stop to the ballist resurgence. There is no we uh -huh. in Coward. this equation. Coward. Friend. I assure you, I am quite finished. Besides, it's plain to see that I'm well out of my depth here. Oh, yeah. But yeah, you, you are. Well, you gave these reprobates a proper seeing to. You clearly have what I don't. Courage, insight, heroism. The city needs you. I overheard these pigs talking. There's a Baal temple deep within the old undercity that the cult is using. You're a five century steps ago, it was destroyed by a group of heroic sorts. Let's hope history repeats itself, eh? You're so, you're so five steps behind. I didn't know that part about the, uh, a century ago, it was destroyed by, uh, heroes. That's kind of cool. Impress the murder tribunal. Done. Investigate the murders. Done. Rescue Orin's victim. We must find Orin's victim in the Temple of Baal. We know how to get there. Orin won't be happy that we dismantled the murder tribunal. We must reach the temple and rescue her victim before she learns this. Fuck, I probably should have killed Gortash first. Valeria feels indebted to us from having saved her for an untimely death. She and her city watch are prepared to support us. All right. Okay. I hope I didn't fuck up by not killing Gortash first. Um. Oh, that's going to leave me having... That's going to make me think for days to come. wonder what I should have done first. Uh, oh, well. We did it. Uh, Saravok dies. The rest of these people are... Their bodies disappeared. Valerius Spare Pipe, Valerius Hookah, Valerius Trunk Balm, Valerius Snuff, and Mastodon Mastodonian Memoirs, Volume 1. This lightly crumpled personal missive, parchment humming with Mount Celestia's radiance, boasts sporadically recorded entries in a Holyphant's life. Uh, bloody planetars. I tell them every time they deploy her. If you send someone to observe the blood war, there's a danger they could be recruited. Every time they say it's a minor heresy. Why? Zariel wouldn't be the first to fall. Lathander's light doesn't reach that far down into the plains. So I wonder who that's in reference to. About, uh, if you send someone. Who's that person? They say crime doesn't pay around here. They say in a world of purest good, who'd have motive to do evil? They also say the path to the hells is paved in good intentions. So which is it? Of course, they don't really know. Hypocrites, the lot of them. It's one bloody adage after another up here. If you ask what any of them mean, why, who, what? No one's interested. This is Celestials. Lulu's no help either. She's a model Holly fan. A perfect example, my superiors are quick to remind me. And she's fallen for Zariel's act. Hook and all. So this is all Zario? 
Oh, it, it doesn't say Zario. Oh, it says Zario would not be the first to fall. So this is lore about, Zar uh, about Zario. Zarya, who was a celestial and then fell. It seems like. She's fallen for Zariel's act, hook and all. No, it's not an act. Zariel believes what she's saying. She's just wrong, foolish. Lulu's a fool to believe it too. It's official. I depart for Baldur's Gate at the earliest opportunity. Spreading conspiracy, disorderly drinking. First, I didn't know there was a prohibition in place. Second, if you don't want me drunk, don't send me to the Feywild. Uh, gnomes have the best mead. And all the other allegations weighing against my person have tipped my reputation over the edge of a cloud down to Toral. It's not phrased like that. Your sense of justice is needed by the mortals. Baldur's Gate has a lively tavern scene. Piss off. I know what they're really thinking. Pains the trunk. The lot of them. Not to say I told you so, but my connections tell me Zariel's broken code to intervene in the blood war. If only someone had warned them. Apparently she killed a horde of uh, gnolls running rampant down here in Toral. Her heart's in the right place. It's a sh shame her sword isn't. She's too reckless to be let near the blood war. I reckon this is just the beginning. Uh, but alas, I've picked up a rather handy new phrase since setting up in Baldur's Gate. That's none of my business. All right. What path lies before? So, any other lore or or loot down here? Small gilded chest over here. What's in here? wonder what's past this. That was a fun fight. I need to think about what I want to do next. I need to think about whether or not I want to go kill Gortash right now. Um, I don't know that it would matter a ton because the reason I was killing Gortash earlier was so that I could get on Orin's good side. Uh, now I've already gotten on Orin's bad side from killing the... <laughs> from uh, messing with the um, murder tribunal, you know? So I'm not sure. I'm a little nervous to long rest because it feels like uh, that might, I know, don't roll your eyes. Don't roll your eyes. I'm a little nervous to long rest. It feels like that might make Orin pissed at me and get a cutscene. Like give her time to realize what's happened here, basically. Uh, but I also have no spell slots, so I kind of need to. <laughs> Memoirs of my death. So I'm guessing we'll do that, but we'll see. There's a memoir describing in detail the visions of Baal seen by Saravak Anchev after his death in the Baal Temple centuries ago. The brethren often ask me, what was it like to die? They expect me to present a warring conflict, the humiliation of defeat against the honor of sacrifice. Once dead, it's impossible to think of oneself of life, for you are in Baal's own embrace. Um... Ball's domain is a red wasteland in a starless sky, halted in time before the collapse of the final sun. There I wandered, tasting the end of all things. I was dragged back from the precipice, bound to a living husk, again by mocked by my mocking sibling. I resented it. I'd forgotten how to breathe, to eat. Uh, but when I was cruelly resurrected, my faith was bolstered more through my death than it could be through life. I would bring about Ball's perfect finale. The melting of the crimson sun above the lakes of blood. It will happen. This world will be carved in him, his image. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, success. Murder Tribunal. Passed. I got an A. I think I got the job. Uh, in the next episode, I'll figure out what exactly I want to do next. Maybe I go to talk to Orpheus. I don't know. We have the hammer. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the fun of that little fight. Uh, find a way to access the Temple of Vault. Wait, I already did that, right? Wait a minute. What do you mean? I already looted your body. Should we equip this uh, amulet of ball? That didn't do anything. <laughs> Other than get rid of 60 HP. <laughs> Could read the map. I've already done that. 
anyways that's gonna do it for this episode thanks so much for watching uh i will see you in the next one until then have a great rest of your day don't forget to like the video and i'll see you tomorrow Bye bye